Hello, 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 and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second test of the 2021 series between Alex's 11 and Dan's 11. Alex's team took the first test at Bromley in Kent, a resilient performance from them. And we're now back at the spiritual home of Backyard Cricket England for this second test, the Waldingham Dome at Waldingham School in Surrey, the venue for our inaugural series back in 2020, which Alex's team won 2-0. And the word from the toss is that they have won the toss. Alex's 11 have won the toss and will bat. We're going to go straight to the venue for the start of play. It's the second test of the 2021 series. Let's go and join the action live. Well, welcome back to the Waldingham Dome, ladies and gentlemen. The spiritual home of Backyard Cricket England. Some team news popping up on the screen for you there. Three players returning for Dan's 11, including key all-rounder James Ramsey on debut. We're excited to see how he goes. Alex Smith does have batsman Bevan West back available today, but it is our understanding the bowler Rob Maguire did enough in the first test to retain his place at number three. He was impressive in making 40, and we believe he's going to come in at four, uh, first drop again today. But for now, it's going to be the captain who looks to set the tone. He's going to face what we think will be Alvin Safia. We're ready to go at the start of the second test match. And full toss, and Smith gets it away. Good start for him, the captain. Had a quiet test in the first game. A couple of single-figure scores. Victim of a good ball in the second innings and some poor umpiring in the first. But he'll feel better about getting that one away early. Look at that wide open stance. But gets into it nicely, into the ground. And they start the match with a boundary. So that was Safia's loosener. What's he got up his sleeve for the next one? Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, what a good bit of bowling. What a delivery that is. Middle stump. Well, look how far across. Smith is outside off. And yet that's beaten him on the outside edge to take middle. That has moved a mile and done it late. That is top draw from Alvin Safia. What a brilliant start to this test match. We're two balls in. We've seen a boundary and a wicket. And the captain goes for four. Magnificent from Safia. Let's have a look at this again from the back. Super slow down. Smith starts outside leg, but he's got right across outside off. He's on fourth or fifth stump there. But that has beaten him and taken middle. Brilliant movement from Safia. This young man is such a hot prospect. Tap on the shoulder from Smith. Not a lot you can do about those. It's four for one. And as expected, it is the left-hander, Rob Maguire, not the returning Bevan West, who was originally scheduled to be number three in this series, pulled out of the first game. Maguire was sent up the order to compensate and perform nicely, a career-best 40. But he's got to contend with Alvin, Alvin Safia, who has started magnificently. What a delivery that was to Smith. Absolutely superb. What a start for Dan's team. That was a full toss again. Maguire digs it out. Big partnership this. Don't want to expose their middle order too early. There was a few players in the Alex's 11 middle order who didn't get going in the first test. Only really Maguire and Ricky Borat made a contribution. And with Nav Saeed coming off a pair and Bevan West on debut, it's important that this partnership takes a bit of sting out of this early onslaught. And that's a whiz up past the nose of Maguire, but watches it carefully. What a start that is for Dan's 11. What a start for Alvin Safia. Brilliant bit of bowling that. That'll be up there for ball of the series come the end of it. Oh, thick edge from Maguire. And he gets a boundary. Going for that Yorker length again. Little too full. Maguire is a relieved man. Gets his first runs on the board. Eight for one off one. What a start here at Waldingham. And not mucking around, Dan Mears turns straight to his debutant, James Ramsey. We're excited to see how he gets on. High class all round up. And his first ball, a little bit inauspicious, but this is a very, very talented player, James Ramsey. We've been looking forward to his debut for some time. Missed the first game. But he'll be hoping to get rock and rolling soon here. What kind of impression can he make on the series? Bowling to Chapman. Oh, and he's done him. Oh, and that's a good bit of bowling. Chapman bowled again. It's been a little bit of a weakness for him. Balls on or around his off stump. He's come across himself a little bit, but that's a good delivery, Ramsey. Swung in, perfect length. Chapman curtain railed it a little bit. He's gone for a duck, and Dan's 11 on absolute fire. We are eight balls into this test match, and Alex's team are two down, having won the toss. And yet again, 
They've left Ricky Barrett with quite the job to do. Bailed them out in the last game with a magnificent half century. Needs to find some of that fight and form here. Disastrous start, having won the toss and chosen to bat. And the Davidson Ramsey strikes with his second ball in backyard cricket. Disappointment for the two openers again. Six innings between Smith and Chapman in this series. Six single-figure scores. Need to do more. Well, what about this? What an electric start to this game. Something about the dome really seems to bring out an extra level of energy in all the players. Borat gets behind his second delivery. And Ramsey taking no time at all to settle in. That's going to be a wide though. First extras of the innings. As brilliant as his start has been, Ramsey. It does still take some getting used to with the different types of delivery. That was an outswinger that just started a little too wide. That's a better one. And good fielding. Yusuf Sharif at square leg. 10 for 2 off 2. Magnificent from Dan's team. Disastrous for Alex's 11. What a start to this test match. Gurpal Singh, the new man. But well in the first test, without much reward for his efforts. But he looked good, mixed his pace probably more than any other bowler. Tough customer, Gurpal Singh. Not regarded as a frontline bowler, but he is tricky. And they're going to get through for a bite. Given the size and scale of the venue, that's pretty much the only way we're going to see much strike rotation in this series. Not really a big enough ground to knock and run. So most of the strike rotation we see will probably come from extras into the back boundary. Oh, that was close to leg stump. Well left from Borat, but good again from Singh. Just a reminder of the rules in regards to buyers and leg buyers. Buyers and leg buyers apply, but there are no boundaries. All buyers and leg buyers must be run. And that's why you will see some hit that back boundary, but the batsman taking singles off them. It's been a good little start, this, from Gurpal Singh. Mixed it up a bit. Leaves that one alone, Borat. Not managed to really middle one yet in the short time he's been there, but he sees off that over. 11 for two from three, and Dan's 11. Tightening their grip here. What a brilliant start from them. Now, it looks like Murphy's going to be the new man. Saw a big improvement in his game in the first test. Three for 30 in the first innings were career best figures. Works hard at his bowling and he's become a very useful asset for Dan's team. Not high on pace, but he can be awkward. That one's just slid down leg. So a bit of a loose enough from Murphy first up. See his figures in the first test there. Three for 30 first time round and not for 26 in the second. Still struggling for consistency, but a much improved bowler. And that one's a little over pitched. He's just struggled to find his line at the moment here, Murphy. Another full toss, drilled, and that's hit Borat. So that's going to be a dead ball. It's actually a good bit of fielding just off camera there at mid-on that stopped it from going over the rope, but a dead ball anyway because it struck Borat. And another full toss, and Murphy field. So Maguire's had three full tosses in succession here. He's hit two of them straight to fielders and one straight to his batting partner. So he'll be getting a little frustrated. Murphy will be feeling he can prey on that. Another full toss and driven and well fielded again. And backed up, excellent between the two of them. It was Sapir and Murphy out there. That's really good from Neil Murphy in particular to react off his home bowling. We'll have a look at that again. Sathya with the initial stop with the boot. Great awareness from Murphy. Great athleticism. Good bit of fielding that off his bowling. Fighting for every run for his team here. And he's one good ball away from sending down a maiden, which will be his first maiden over of the series if he can pull this one off. Into Maguire and another full toss. Well, one ball down leg and five full tosses. Doesn't sound on paper like the recipe for a maiden over, but he has got it down there, Murphy. Keeping the pressure on. A little bit frustration from Maguire's part. And especially when you take into account that the next man is going to be Yusuf Sharif and he will give you nothing easy. Had an excellent first test, Sharif, with bat and ball. His catching was a little off colour, but by and large he was excellent. Good start to the series from him. 
And like Ramsey and Murphy before him, first ball drifts down leg. Oh, that's not far off. He does get a long way across his stumps, Ricky Borat. And it might be that Dan's team have identified that leg stump as an area to target him. And that's the field. Oh, that's good from Sharif. Just sensing that he's going to target Ricky Borat across the leg side. He gets a long way over off stump. They're going to try and get him playing across himself. I doubt they'll be giving him much to drive to start with here. And again, yeah, this looks like a plan. Not quite been able to execute it, Sharif, but you can see what he's getting at here. They're targeting that leg stump. And Dan Mears at leg slip has gone a little finer. Oh! Wow! Well. well, the stumping's not on. His foot hasn't moved out of that crease, but how close was that to the leg stump? This is good bowling from Sharif, and Borat's in a battle here. One ball left to the go in the over. Has Borat realised what the plan is? Maybe advised to just stick to his leg stump a little bit more for the right arm over bowlers while he gets himself in. Clear plan this from Sharif. He's got one ball left to execute it in this over. What a start it would be for Dan's team if they can knock Borat over early. It's been a brilliant start already from them. And clipped away for four, but Sharif won't mind that. He was having a look at that leg stump through that hole over. He won't mind seeing this from Ricky Borat. Just a little over pitched and a little bit straight. It's good wrist work from the batsman and a brilliant dive from Murphy. Good over that from Sharif. 15 for two. And we're going to see another debutant. It's the left arm up, Max Mogridge. First televised backyard test for him. Medium pace. He's a batsman by trade. And we expect to see him opening the batting for Dan's team, or at least in the top three. Bowling a bit more of an unknown quantity. And his first ball goes for four. Good from Maguire. Put those full tosses from Neil Murphy that he missed out on out of his mind and played that nicely. It's a lovely shot. Good batting. So Mogridge starts with a loose nut. How will he respond on debut? Sam Dennis, the fielder moving to long on. Not going to allow Maguire to pick that gap again. Big gap at cover though, which he will have identified. He's a good player through the covers, Maguire. And he'll be tempted by that gap. Whether Dan's 11 are leaving that there is bait, perhaps. We'll wait to be seen. Mogridge in again. Oh, well, you're not going to get anybody with that. That's an absolute pie. It's definitely four. I think they're just waiting to see if it's a no ball. It's not been called by square leg. So four it is. Oh, and another one. And drilled into the ground for four more. This is a poor start from Mogridge. Pressure being put back on Dan's team. Really good this from Maguire. We'll have a look at those two boundaries again. Two high full tosses. First one swatted behind square. And then the next one in front of square. Good from Maguire. Puts a bit of pressure back on Dan's team. Gives the scoreboard a slightly more respectable look, if not by much. And he's missed out on one there. Down leg again. Tough start this from Mogridge. Got a bit of the yips in his first backyard over. Three boundaries to start his bowling career. Oh, but that's a good one. That's a good response. Testing length. Forcing Maguire forward, but not quite committing him all the way forward. That's better for Mogridge. Oh, that's not. Yeah, another boundary. Another loose ball. Maguire's cashed in there. Good batting from him. 31 for two. Yeah. Regardless of where you put your leg side fielders, it's asking a miracle for Dan Mears to stop that. It's not straight at him. Pour over that. Alex's 11 will be feeling a lot better about their start to the day now. Still a lot of work to do. Still not out of the woods. But Maguire, at least, will be feeling good after rattling a few away. That's well fielded from Mogridge. Sam Dennis, the new bowler. Overpitched again. A lot of full tosses today. I would estimate that at least a third of the deliveries we've seen so far have been overpitched. Oh, what a shot that is. What a shot that is. First maximum of the test match. That was beautiful from Ricky Borat. Gun straight back. Dennis overpitched again. And with Sathya there, one of the best fielders in the game, waiting at long off. He's had to place that perfectly. And it looks brilliant from that angle. 
Love shot from Borat. Signs that he is still in great nick after his exploits in the first test. Oh, but again targeting that leg stump. Noticeable there that Borat, his front foot went across again, but this time the back foot didn't follow. And that may be the tactic for him. Does seem to be a deliberate ploy. Ah, that's beautifully hit. That's going to be another boundary. And Borat just starting to get going now. Pressure starting to swing in this match a little bit. 16 off the last over. And another boundary. That leaves 14 off this. 30 runs in the last 11 balls. Certainly got this scoreboard moving along. It's good from Ricky Borat. That's the first one through cover. Another excellent bit of placement. And the second one. Timed that beautifully. A lot of control in that stroke. Again targeting that leg stump. Oh, and that's a good nut. Targeted leg stump and then zip one across him, Sam Dennis. Good finish to the over from him. But Alex is 11, feeling a lot more comfortable now. 45 for two. And that is the cue for the captain. Mears himself. Aside from the last couple of overs, he's watched his team enjoy an excellent start here. Probably a few too many full tosses for his liking, but you won't get many off of him. Frontline bowler, strike bowler. And his job now will be to just reassert a little bit of control. Just get this scoring rate back down again. Just himself, James Crowther and the debutant Randolph West left in this bowling rotation. So it's important that Mears keeps a lid on things here. And he started with a loose nut, as most of the bowlers have today. But he won't be too bothered by that. And now to Maguire. Ah, good delivery. Looks like a wide down leg, but that was actually fairly straight. It moved a lot after it passed the batsman. Made it look a bit wider than it was. Oh, and that's a ripper. What a beauty that is. Well, Maguire's done well not to nick that. That's a jaffer from Dan Mears. Good start from him. Bit too leg-sided again, but Dennis does the tidying up at square leg. Bit of an up and down over this so far from Dan Mears. Ah, oh, that's a better one again. A cracker again. Plays with really low hands, Maguire. Really soft hands. And it does make him a candidate for those full balls that move away. But he survived. Good over that from Mears on the hole. 47 for two off eight. And we're going to see Randolph West on debut. Filling in at short notice for Dan's team. And an interesting competitive spice to this match. Randolph West is the father of the debutant Bevan West in Alex's team. So father and son making debuts on opposing sides in this match. And we have to hope that they get to bowl at each other at some point during the day. That'll be a great watch. But again, like almost every bowler so far, West has started with a poor one down leg. Oh, but a good one to follow up. That was quicker than we were expecting. He's had a lot of problems with his knees, Randolph West, and he is a wicketkeeper by trade. Doesn't bowl much. Don't think he's done any bowling in years. So, surprising amount of pace so far, if not quite the direction. And Borat will have a look at him from the non-strikers now, as Maguire takes guard. Be feeling good, Maguire. Keeping the rhythm of the first test going. And they're going to be helped out by these whites here. Partnership to reach 44 in double quick time. That's down leg. It's been a roaring start to this test match. Everything happening at breakneck speed up to now. We've been treated to a brilliantly entertaining first eight overs here, eight and a half overs. And again, down leg to finish up. Nine down, 54 for two. Maguire and Borat still there. And the last man in the rotation, James Crowder. Similar bowler to Max Mogridge. And this is a key over coming up here. Maguire and Borat, the two informed players from the first test. This is the last over before the new bowling rotation when all the strike bowlers can come back on. So it's important that these two are there for that and not expose a new batsman to the best bowlers. And Crowther, he can be a deceiving bowler. He's not a frontline bowler. Starts down leg which Borat plays away but he can steal the odd wicket and it's vital that Borat and Maguire retain their concentration here don't give Crowther a cheap wicket before the new bowlers come back on 
And uh, Borough got a long way across there, but I think in the end that's a leave. And a belated call for a wide from the umpire. Quiet start to this over up to now. Crowther in again. Oh, what's he done? Oh, what's he done, Ricky Borra? Oh, big trouble for Alex's team now. Well, we said they could afford to lose a wicket in this over, and that's exactly what they've done, and it's as cheap as they come. Borra, short, sat up, his eyes lit up, but no control on it whatsoever. Hasn't got much to keep in that fence. Just to confirm, the divide between the green and the white panels is the fence limit. And Borra has chucked away a cheap one there. It's 56 for three. And they didn't want to expose the middle order, the lower order, to a new bowling rotation. They wanted Maguire and Borra in for this. This has been a poor start from Alex's team. Naf Saeed coming off a pair in the first test. Not what he needs. I'm sure we're going to see Safia, Sharif, Ramsey, Mears all on again at the start of the next rotation. Naf Saeed under a bit of pressure here. Big player for Alex's team, a player that the captain talked up after the selection. Didn't contribute much to the first game. Can he get his first runs of the series on the board? He'll be seeing Crowther as the opportunity to do that, with all respect. That's a soft dismissal from Ricky Borat. Crowther has pinched one there, and Dan's 11 will be delighted with that. That's a big wicket, the star batsman. And suddenly, having won the toss and chosen to bat, Getting any kind of respectable score looks a lot more difficult with Borat gone early, and that's a good nut from Crowther. What a good over this has been. What a bonus for Dan's team. James Crowther has been excellent in this over. One wide, but other than that, nothing to score off. And the massive bonus wicket of Ricky Borat. And a good one to finish. Well, what a moment that is for James Crowther. The massive wicket of Borat, and just a couple of runs from a wide off it is 56 for three off 10. And we're on to the new rotation, and not mucking around Dan Mears, turns straight to Yusuf Sharif. And the task here, pretty simple. Get Rob Maguire out and expose that middle order, but you're not gonna do it with leg stump half volleys. That's gone for four. Loose delivery from Sharif, but Maguire's played it really well. Rolled us on that nicely. Pick the gap. That's up in the air, but don't think that that would have been out. Bump ball. What can Sharif produce? Need him to deliver here. If they get Maguire out, they can have a real go at the lower order. Oh, and that's exactly what he's done, and that's an excellent delivery. Don't think Maguire's done a lot wrong there. Might have been beaten for pace a little. Yeah, possibly just beaten for pace. A little bit of a gap. The tiniest gap between bat and pad. And Sharif has found it. That's a really good bit of bowling. Maguire goes for 24. Not quite the control of his innings in the first test. A bit more scattergun. But at least he's contributed something, which is more than can be said for the others. 60 for 4. And the debutant, Bevan West. Hugely talented player, but this format does take some adapting to. It's probably unfair to expect West to dig them out of a hole here. But they'll be praying, best case scenario, he can hang around for a while, get used to the format, and just claw them up to some respectability. This is an innings that's now starting to collapse for Alex's team. Nav Saeed becomes a massive player now. Pair in the first game, but he is a senior player, an experienced player, clever player, and he is a fighter. Not a free-scoring batsman, he's more of a grinder. And that's exactly what they need here at 60 for four. Dan's 11 will be delighted. He's brought on Yusuf Sharif for the first over of this rotation with the express intention of getting Maguire out. And his bowler is delivered for him, third ball. Excellent from Sharif, excellent from Dan Mears. Pretty much a perfect morning for them up to now. And Sharif will be bowling at the debutant, Bevan West, his first ball in backyard cricket. And he's got it away for four. Well, that's some start from the youngster. Such a talented player. Played that really nicely. Soft hands. Got over the top of it. Good cricket, that, from Bevan West. A really assured start from the youngster. And what is Sharif's response? Oh, it's a beauty. 
That one's done a bit as well. Might have kicked up a little bit from the way that West played it. Brilliant over this from Sharif. What a good start to the series he's had. Well, he's done his job there, Yusuf Sharif. Get Maguire out, and he did. Brilliant. 64 for four. And what about this? James Crowther. He's not going to one of his frontline strike bowlers. He's gone to Crowther. He's earned himself a second over after his wicket in the first of Borat. And perhaps this is not the worst idea. With Saeed sitting on a pair, they might feel he's going to chase one here to get himself off the mark. Won't be chasing that one, though. Interesting bit of thinking this from Dan Mears. Could well pay dividends for him. There will no uh, uh, Saeed will be itching to get one away. Yet to get off the mark for the series. And just rewards for Crowther after his excellent first over. What a morning it's been for him. Oh, tickle that now. For anyone who may remember, that is eerily similar to the dismissal that Crowther got Saeed with in the first test. And it may be that he's brought him on to remind him of that as well. That's nicely played. Oh, and I think it's been misfielded. Oh, well, that's a shame for the pressure Crowther was building. Would have been interesting to see where this over went. Had that been fielded properly. It's Gurpal Singh out there. Hands on hips, not paying attention. And it's gone straight through him. Dribbled over the rope. Saeed off the mark of the series. Pressure relieved. And it's a bit of a disappointment for Dan's team. Like we say, it would have been interesting to see how this over played out had that been collected. But I think Saeed, that'll calm him down a little bit. Right behind that. Good again from Crowther. Brilliant start to the morning from him. A little over pitched and well fielded. Saeed would have fancied the boundary off that. Good again from James Crowther. 70 for four. Yeah, and now we're not wasting time. It looks like it's going to be Alvin Sathya. You wouldn't be surprised if either Mears or Ramsey follows this as well. Going to put his gun bowlers on now and try and blast through this lineup. Alex's 11 will still be hoping for 150, which will still be well under par. Full toss, well played by West. Didn't get carried away. They would have been looking at 250, Alex's 11, on winning the toss. But these early wickets, particularly the loss of Ricky Borat, mean that expectations are going to have to be recalibrated slightly, and I think they'll take anything over 150 now. Long way to go till they get there, though. This is a big partnership. Into the bowlers once they break this one. Elliot Fox is a talented all-rounder, but a bowling all-rounder. And then we're into the bowlers after that. Dan's 11, one wicket away from really being able to storm through this lower order. And with West on debut and Saeed out of Nick, they will really be scenting blood here. They'll be a little disappointed with this over so far from Southia. Five dot balls, which is looking good on the scoreboard, but he's not really threatened with any of them. And West has played that over out pretty well. Maiden. And it is James Ramsey. No real surprise that. Going to get through his gun bowlers early here. Dan Mears can't blame him. Got all his decisions spot on so far, the captain. That's down leg. Run rate's been a little higher than Mears will care for, but when you take into consideration, Saeed plays down a lifter from Ramsey, when you take into consideration that they've scored 70 and we're into the 14th over, 30 of these runs came in successive overs from Mogridge and Dennis. So the other sort of 12 and a bit overs, four for 40. Brilliant morning's work for Dan's team. That's another good delivery. Got him in a bit of bother here. Ramsey, it's been an impressive debut from him. First over and a half, he's looked really good, looked really suited to this format. Saeed right across on off stump now to counter that in swing up. So Ramsey bends one away from him, but a little too wide to tempt Saeed to go at. But good thinking bowling. And again, taken to this format like a duck to water, Ramsey. That was another excellent over from him. He's probably been the standout bowler up to now. 
And he's going to relinquish duties to Neil Murphy. Will Bevan West see this as an opportunity to cash in? Or will he look to just get through this testing spell and get his eye in? Interesting to see how he plays this. Oh, he smacked it for six. Well, it's a bit of a gift from Neil Murphy. First over was good, a maiden. But he started poorly here. That's a hit me ball. And Bevan West doesn't miss out. A lot of power and a lot of control. Really talented young player. If he can rattle a few boundaries away while he adapts to the fight, it'll be a big help to Alex's team. And looks like he's going to swat it that one as well. It's another hit me ball from Murphy. That's successive sixes to start the over. Surely we're not looking at a 36 here, are we? Surely not. That really would be something under the circumstances. Murphy again. And he's defended it. So the dream of 36 dies. But Murphy's spirit... Still alive and kicking. Good response, that. Didn't break under pressure and go short again. And that one skidded on a little bit. So a long way down leg, so no real threat. But it looked like West expected that to be another pull shot. But it looks like it just darted through a little bit quicker. Murphy to West. Full toss. Thick edge. Just reaching for it a little bit. No harm done. Good response this from Murphy. Three dot balls after that opening onslaught from West. Good character from the medium pacer. And they finish with a boundary. 16 off that one. Let's have a look at them again. Smacked. Smacked harder. And this one very nicely played through cover. 86 for four. Looks like Gurpal Singh's going to get us going again. Starts with one down leg to Saeed. Opt not to take the bite. Bit of a loosener to get going again, Gurpal Singh. Not unusual in this format. Oh, that's a lovely shot. That might even be the shot of the morning. What a response from Saeed. He's fighting hard for a bit of form here. Tough start to the series for him, but he has absolutely nailed. That's a lovely shot. Good effort from Neil Murphy at mid-off. Acrobatic again. Not afraid to put his body on the line, Murphy, but not able to get to that. That has barely left the turf. Lovely strike from Saeed. Oh, but that's a good response. That's a cracker from Gurpal Singh. Little bit. Pulled his length back ever so slightly there. More of a length ball. Oh, follows it up with a full one. He's really going for the crease line here. First ball that was hit to the boundary was a full toss, but he's responded with two absolute crackers that have really nailed that crease line spot on. Oh, and he's got him. Oh, good bowling. It's not great from Saeed. He's anticipated the outswinger and gone too far across, but you've still got to find it, and Gurpal Singh has done that expertly. Yeah, he's just wandered over too far. Sloppy from Saeed, but a big wicket. Gurpal Singh gets his rewards. 90 for 5. Alex is 11 right in a hole here. Elliot Fox, the new man. Sparky all-rounder. More than capable of making a useful contribution. Tends to not really get low scores, Elliot Fox. He is consistent. He's normally good for double figures at the very least. And they'll be hoping he can do the same again today and much, much more. Pass score here, 200 to 250. They're going to get nowhere near it on the evidence of the morning so far. Oh, beating him. Bit late on that, Fox. What a brilliant over from Gurpal Singh. Another one goes down, 90 for 5. And here we go. Mears playing to the crowd here. This is a moment we've been waiting for. Randolph West will be bowling at his son. And doesn't start to him particularly well. Down leg. Both of them on debut. What a moment this is for the pair of them. Both will be desperate to come out of this on top. And Bevan West gets the early advantage. Nailed for four. 
full toss and he's timed it well. Second one we've seen him put through that cover region. Plays nicely through there. Randolph West will be looking for a bit of revenge. Oh, nearly found it. Slower ball. And Bevan West sliced it a little bit. Good response from Randy. Oh, beat him. Well, this is what the game is all about. Magnificent from these two. Couple of balls left to go in the over. Father to son. Oh, beating him again. It's another Jaffa. What a couple of deliveries they are from Randolph West. A wicket keeper by trade and a history of knee injuries. Doesn't do much bowling. You wouldn't know it from the last couple of balls. Oh, and a leading edge as well. Well, he's finished that over brilliantly. Randy West probably came out on top of that, but didn't get the wicket. And that's the most important thing. 94 for five and Bevan West still there. And Elliot Fox is going to have the chance to get going against the medium pace of Mogridge. First over in backyard cricket was a bit of a disappointment for Mogridge. Four boundaries from it, including his first three deliveries. Rob Maguire really took him to the cleaners. Elliot Fox will be hoping he can have similar luck. Oh, that's going to be a wide. Oh, that's an ugly one. Well, no ball he's given it. Either way, the result's the same. Just a reminder of the rules. No balls and wides. Two runs and no extra delivery. Oh, Fox a bit early on that. Just died on him. He can get wickets like that, Max Mogridge. Just seems to take an age to reach you. So easy to play loose strokes or hit him over the fence or straight up in the air to fielders. You just feel like you're always waiting on it. And he started this over much better than he started his first. Oh, said that a little too soon. Another ugly delivery. Good to see him laughing about it though. He sees the funny side. He's not a frontline bowler. Going to come round the wicket now and see if he has better luck. Oh, what about that? I think that's a drop. He's absolutely hammered it, Elliot Fox. It's Ramsey at cover. Probably harsh to call this a drop. I wonder if he's got a hand on it. Oh, he has. I think it's gone straight through him. Well, if we're being ultra critical, I think we have to say that's a drop catch. <laughs> he's got nowhere near it, in truth. That's beaten him before he's seen it. Elliot Fox gets away with one. Harsh to call that a drop. But either way, it's six and Fox survives. Now he's placed that one a lot better. Similar delivery from Mogridge, but Fox this time a bit more careful with his placement and direction. Nowhere near Ramsey that time. Ten off the last two balls to finish that one. 108 for five. Three figures finally brought up for Alex's team, but the five wickets is a real concern, and Dan Mears will be hunting for number six here. Bevan West has adapted really well so far, and he carries the hopes of his team here. If they're going to get any kind of pass score, 200 or above, it's really going to be Bevan West that has to deliver for them. A lot of expectation on a debutant. But the batsmen above him have let him down. Been some good bowling though, in fairness to the batsmen that have gone before. Oh, and that's over the fence, and that's another. That is number six. And Mir strikes for the first time in the series. Squared him up. A little bit of extra bounce there, Mears. Good bowling. West has played all around it. And that is a big wick. And you feel now that that swings this game, this match, entirely. In Dan's favour. It's going to take a lot of work for Alex's 11 to get back in the game here. Dan's 11 will be thinking of polishing these last four off as quickly as possible. And then giving themselves a big lead with the bat. It's going to take a lot of work for Alex's team to get the initiative back here. But James Maguire helped them do exactly that in the first test. Only 16 on paper. But that 16 was a massive contribution that swung that game. And he'll need to produce something similar here. Mears on a roll, his team on a roll. Disastrous morning's work for Alex's team, having won the toss and chosen to bat. Not gone to plan at all. Oh, and that's a good nut from Mears. 
bowled well throughout this series. It's amazing to think that that wicket of Bevan West is the first that Mears has taken in this series. He bowled really well in the first test. Let down by some drop catches and some bad luck. Deserves that wicket. And he's captained excellently today. By and large, he's made all the right moves. Oh, that's a good delivery. Mogridge does the fielding. I think Maguire did get back on that, so I think he has saved four there, Mogridge. Mears, a ball away from a wicket maiden. And that's exactly what he delivers. Really, really good from the captain. 108 for six. Alex is 11, fading fast. Sam Dennis, this is the last over of the second bowling rotation, so as if it couldn't get any worse for Alex's team, they're going to have all the strike bowlers back again after this one. And Sam Dennis is no slouch himself, bowled well in the first test. Sloppy first over here. He'll be looking to put that right. And giving us four, I think a little sliver of bat on that from Maguire. Uh, from Fox even, sorry. Bowled well in the first game, Sam Dennis. He was inventive, he tried things, got a couple of wickets. Little change of pace there. That was a slower ball, but the direction was off. Hasn't quite settled into this match yet, but when he gets it right, he's a really effective bowler. Around the wicket, got a couple of his wickets in the last game from this angle. Oh, that's in the air, and he's caught it. Modridge with the catch. Fox falls into the trap. Fine leg out there, and Fox couldn't help himself. He's hit it straight to him. Good catch, that low down from Modridge. That seemed to die on him a little bit. Dennis gets a breakthrough. It's another soft wicket. Good bit of bowling. Good low catch. And Fox is gone for a breezy 14. 112 for 7. All over the place now, Alex's team. And we've got another debutant, Callum Letts. Fast bowler. Very good bowler. Batting is a bit of an unknown quantity. We're told he likes to give the ball a thump. So it'll be interesting to see if he can get going here. Third wicket of the series for Sam Dennis. All of them from round the wicket to right armers, uh, right handers. Goes across Letts there, but sends it wide. Letts gets a little sight up. Live wire cricketer Callum Letts. Can hit the ball and hit it hard. And bowls with good pace and movement. And you'd suspect that he's going to be here for a good time rather than a long time but if he can just clap a few boundaries away anywhere near 150 they'll consider a good recovery extravagant footwork again but a good over from Dennis done his job got the wicket Fox will be disappointed but Sam Dennis has bowled that well and we're back to Yusuf Sharif no let up at all this has been almost a complete bowling performance from Dan's 11 they have been absolutely excellent can't think of many poor overs there was a couple that went for 30 in the middle of all the carnage that were sort of outliers really other than that they've been on the money a few full tosses to start with but those have crept out of the performance oh and that's a good one from Sharif he's been very good again picked up the wicket of Maguire with a Jaffa and he's bowled a few besides that that have come close Oh, appeal for a catch. Nothing from the bowler. I think the noise was back on ground. And these two, long-time friends, Sharif and Maguire. Competitive element between the pair of them. Maguire packs that one back down. Needs to show the fight and courage he showed in the first test. Maguire really bailed his team out of a hole in partnership with Ricky Borrow and won that game. Doing well so far, hanging on in there yet to get off the mark there is a last man standing so all three of these wickets are going to be required for Dan's team a little bit loose from Sharif wanted that to be a little tighter it's a couple of outswingers though in swinger may be on the way oh that's a ripper what a good delivery to finish the over that is wow Excellent bit of bowling from Sharif, a maiden from him. And no let off again, it's James Ramsey, probably the pick of the bowlers today, and it's been a very strong performance from all of them. Oh, and it's another. 
gets his just rewards, James Ramsey. He has been excellent today. Yeah, Callum Letts all over the place there. Just got too far across, fell over himself almost. It's a bit of an extravagant shot, but he's not been picked for his batting. And this is by no means any blame attached to him for the situation that Alex's team find themselves in. The debutant goes for a duck. James Ramsey, great start to the over for him. This has been a quite excellent performance from Dan's team and they'll fancy knocking these two over quickly. Jake Butler made a pair in the first test, lasted four balls in total. Needs to show a bit more resilience this time around, but it's going to be tough for him with Ramsey enjoying an excellent debut. Really has been good. He's adapted so quickly to this format. Such a clever bowler. Oh, and he's cut him in half. Butler nowhere near that. They'll be hoping this is a matter of time. They'll be looking at anything under 120, Dan's team. If that. Oh, it's another beauty. He has been the best among an excellent crop from Dan's team. They have all bowled brilliantly today. All the bowlers have been spot on. It's been a complete performance. And Ramsey has been the best of them. And I think he's claimed another. Has that flicked the stumps? Yes, it has. Nine down, Butler goes for his third duck in succession. And Ramsey is third wicket on debut. Well, I think it's just clipped. I think the base of the stumps, actually, rather than the top. I think that's just flicked the side of leg stump. What a brilliant over this has been. Butler didn't get near any of the three balls he's faced there. And he's gone for a duck. 114 for nine. The end beckoning to a disastrous performance from Alex's team. But James Ramsey on debut. 2.4 overs. One maiden. Three for two. And the two he conceded was a wide in his first over. No runs off the bat from him yet. Three wickets. All clean bowled. All jaffers. Can't think that we've seen a player adapt to the format as quickly as James Ramsey has. This is arguably the most impressive debut we've seen in this format. Brilliant, brilliant start from him. We were excited to see how he got on in this series. High class player. High standard of club cricketer. Bowling all round up. And he's shown every bit of his class today. It's been a top performance from James Ramsey and the figures do it justice. Maguire plays it down the line. The only question here, can Ramsey take the last one? Probably deserves it. He's been excellent. This is a double wicket maiden with a ball to go. James Maguire, how long can you hang around for? Well, he's going to see at least one more over. Brilliant from James Ramsey. Unlikely we'll see him again in this innings. But he's made his mark on it. Three for two. Exceptional performance from him. Double wicket maiden. And just what you want to see is Alvin Sathya coming on if you're the batsman here. Oh, good delivery. Fastest bowler in the series, Sathya. Not what you want if you're James Maguire. Having just seen off Ramsey. He'll just be praying he can get through this over. Oh, good catch. And that's the end of that. 114 all out. The last five wickets have fallen for just six runs there. Diabolical from Alex's 11. Good catch that from Sathya. Sharp take off his own bowling. Well, the last five wickets have gone for just six runs, but it is hard to blame the tail in the lower order. It's the top order that have either got themselves out cheaply or got starts and thrown their wickets away. It's 114. And that is the final scorecard. Bit of a mess that from Alex's team having won the toss and chosen to bat. But what a brilliant bowling performance from Dan's 11. James Ramsey in particular superb. Yusuf Sharif, Alvin Sathya and Gurpal Singh also turned in excellent performances. As did all the bowlers really. Mears was also very good. Crowther as well. What a brilliant morning for him. Murphy included a maiden in those figures. Dennis got himself a wicket. Even Mogridge had a drop off his bowling. Brilliant from Dan's team. Massive disappointment for Alex's 11. Join us after the break and we'll see how Dan's 11 respond to their superb performance with the ball.